Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to split objects or slice objects using Houdini. So something like this. So dynamic slicing. So I have a cube here. It is like being animated and I have a sword through which the cube passes through. So the sword is nothing but just, just a spear. I have compressed it uh, to 0 0.1. I have put a boolean and what boolean does is it cuts an object from another using another object. So at some point there are like two pieces. So this method works only if the sword or the object that is like cutting the other object fully passes through the object at some point or else you can use some tri uh, tricks like poly extrude or like uh, using solver to like uh, or some trick you can use uh, to mm, make sure that at some point the object like fully passes through so that there are like two pieces when you boolean it. So we'll use this to make it dynamic. Right now it is just a simple boolean. It's not dynamic. So I am assembling it and I'm like creating packed primitives. So why I'm doing this is like, I need one point. If you see the geometry spreadsheet here, like one point or one piece when the object is like a single piece and when it is when it becomes two pieces we have like two points okay. and uh, I'm creating an attribute called init init is nothing but the number of points at that particular frame so right now if you see there is like only one piece so the init value is like one then it becomes like when it becomes like two piece the init value is two Then we are packing the object because we need only one point so i need actually only one point even though when there's like two pieces i need the init value to be two we have the init value because like we are like transferring attribute but there is like only one point so when it is a single piece the init value is like one and when it is like two pieces the init value is two and i'm using a solver to figure out at which point in the frame range there are like two pieces okay so we need to figure out this one to uh, like uh, to start the rbd exactly from that frame so we can procedurally do this using the solver so all i want to do is i want to find the frame frame number at which there are like two pieces okay so in my case i need the last frame at which point there are like two pieces okay at which the, the unit value is like two if you see here, there are like two pieces. So I need to find like processorly uh, find a method to get the 1065 value or whatever the frame frame number it may be. So I'm using solver to do this. Let's dive in. If you know about solver, solver processes the nodes and then the information goes out and again it comes in through this node and it again goes out so like whatever the node we are giving here it is like processed again and again so we can use this property to find the exact frame number at uh, like uh, at which there are like two uh, two pieces so this is the animation so if you see i think there is some cache issue so this input one is nothing but this one and this is the previous frame so what I'm doing in this attribute triangle is so if the init value is like greater than one that means when there is like two pieces 
i am creating an attribute called the frame and uh, i am assigning the current frames value to it okay. so like um, when there are like two pieces the current frames value will be assigned to the this attribute let's see i think there is some cache issue okay maybe okay so if you see the geometry spreadsheet now the value is zero because the init value is like equal to 1 it is not greater than 1 so whenever there is like a single piece we'll have a value of zero okay let's see when what happens when there are like two pieces yeah so it is having the current frames value let's move on let's move on and what happens is like it freezes at 1065 we'll see why this is happening uh, like why how we are freezing it if the frame what is uh, like less than the previous frame value whatever we are getting from here if the frame is like less than the previous frame value we are like um, uh, what we are doing is like we are assigning the previous frames the frame value to the attribute so when this will happen is when the time link the frames crosses this value right now at 1066 frame the previous frame had uh, the frame value of a uh, higher value so it had 1065 but the current frame value currently the the frame value is zero so when this when this situation is like uh, condition is like satisfied we are just taking the previous frames uh, value to the the frame okay the frame attribute so what happens is like till the end we'll have the last frame where there were like two pieces all right we'll go out and see yeah we have this 1065 till the end so we have successfully found out the frame number at which there are like two pieces and uh, we have done it procedurally also so we will use a time shift and in the time shift we will get in the in the frame variable we will get the attribute the frame attribute okay we can do this using this uh, this expression point dot dot slash out solver so here it is taking the from here it is taking the frame attribute so if you uh, see after it starts becoming two piece till the end the frame attribute is like 1065 so it gets frozen at 1065 we can just put an dollar f end like we can take the last frame so we throughout we have the same value all right so how to use this frame value in the simulation let's see let's go to the top like from the boolean i'm taking out another branch in this branch i'm using time warp and i'm using the same expression here like if you see what is happening it starts animating and it freezes at 1065 so how i am doing this is like in the output frame i am using the same expression i am getting the same value from here the frame value and i am freezing at the last frame like uh, 1065 okay so that is all we need actually uh, to start the rbd simulation we can just put on an assembled node and then we are putting this attribute wrangle node so why we need this attribute wrangle node is till 1065 we need the i at active to be zero so that there is like no simulation happening and after like 1065 we can have i at active is equal to 1 okay so we are getting the the frame value from the second input so that is like 1 and we are getting the frame so if the frame is like less than 1065 we are having a value of i at active is equal to 0 and if from if it is like 1065 or higher 
we are having a, a active value one and we will calculate the velocity using com uh, using trail node and we will input it into the rbd solver and we will use the same expression again to start the rbd, RBD solver from 1065 okay so let's play and see we will reset the simulation the simulation starts only at 1065 and it's working and we are using this collision the the, the SWAT as a collision and actually I have not done any change inside the RPD solver it, it works just like that so right now we don't have the animation before the slicing so what we can do is we can put a switch node the first input will give it to the the solved animation the RPD and the second input will give it to the animation like from the first frame to 1065 what we have here and how to switch between these two like the animation and the RPD like rigid body uh, dynamics we will use the same expression again dollar f is like less than like a point static geo zero the frame zero so like so what is happening here is like if you see here we go to exactly one zero six five frame the value is zero and if you go to the previous frame the value is like one so the switch is like automatically automatically switching from the animation to the dynamics because of this expression and that's it like we can unpack it because we packed it before we can reset the simulation and we can play not playing in real time yeah but it works so if you would like to download the hip file for this uh, uh, R&D setup that I did you can download it from patreon please consider subscribing it will encourage me to do more of uh, uh, like this uni unique tutorials I'll see you all at the next tutorial. Thank you.